we've arrived. It is not what we had anticipated. There's no one else on this beach. I'm going naked. <laughs> and if he doesn't answer, I do a quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, they have some bite. For Eamon. You don't taste anything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretend at least a little bit, a little bit. Definitely not warm. We love little pickles. We last left you guys exploring the fresh waters of Santiago. Since then, we've headed north and we've discovered our favorite beach yet. All right, Blackie, you keep an eye on the truck. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another Eamon and Beck vlog. We basically woke up today and we're just so impressed with where we were that... We had to share it with you. It's we had to share it. Paradise, friends. Also, we woke up saying, let's go for a run before it gets too hot. It's already too hot. <laughs> We're still gonna go for a run. Let's go. Bring it up the rear. Where did my fiance go? <laughs> Great run. I was saying to Adam last week, I still to this day use my mile run in elementary school as a gauge for distance. So I think we just did about I don't know, four, four kilometers, two miles, which is like four laps around my elementary school. That's what I felt like at least, maybe even longer. But I thought that was pretty funny. And I wonder if you guys relate to that. You know, it was like 15 years ago. You going swimming? All right, there's no one else on this beach. I'm going naked. <laughs> Eamon has made us some oatmeal. Did you do like PB and jail? Yeah, this is the same one that's in our cookbook. Mmm, so it's the recipe from our cookbook, Weekday Whip Ups, and it's got, we're using almond butter and some local jam we found. Something that Eamon tried when we were back home was intermittent fasting, and while we don't fully practice it very strictly, we do feel really good if we get up and just have a tea or a coffee in the morning with water, and then we kind of get our quick workout in, give us a break, have some more water, and then eat breakfast. So that's what we've been trying to do lately. Also, I find you appreciate the meal, like, mm, mm -hmm. I'm craving this. Mm -hmm. so Sounds much more. so good. Breakfast of champions with one killer view. Dude, this is so good. You like? This is like, and I'm not just saying that so you guys buy the book. <laughs> Although you should buy the book because a lot of work to make the book and cut. <laughs> the only thing I can really relate this to is like a computer that's like at one or two percent and you just plugged it in it's like <laughs> it's that good. It makes you feel great. Giving you life? Mm. These sand flies are amazing too. <laughs> Super careful. This beach is called El Saltito, and we found out about it through our friend Hector. He's a local here, and I feel like it's a very unknown local spot. We're only about 30 minutes outside of La Paz, and we're in love with it because there's cactus over here, there's mountains over here, the water is crystal clear. It's just, it's just paradise. But it does come with its dangers. <laughs> <laughs> These little balls of spikiness are horrendous. Yeah. 
couple of if barefoot you, babes. Oh my yeah, god, they're deadly. Yeah. Well, I know firsthand because I had about 12 of them stuck in my feet last week. They're all over my shoes. And now it's all over this blanket. I don't even know what to do. You just need it's up to me, I can show you my world, we can go through it all. You, you just leave it up to me, take a trip to the stars, I can show you it all. You, you just leave it up to me, I can show you my world, we can go through it all. You, you just need it's up to me, take a trip to the stars, I can show you it all. Yeah, look at all this moolah, I got cash now. And a bunch of books in my lap now All up in your face like a front page Going through your page like a front Now, you guys are probably wondering Why in your right mind would you leave that amazing beach? Good point Two things Number one Is we need to get to internet we Gotta check on emails And that sort of thing And number two Is we were actually invited to stay at this really cool looking eco lodge. Do we got any service? Yeah, just got service and it looks like we're all good to go to the ranch tonight. Oh wow. <laughs> Let's go. Amazing, what is this ranch? Honestly, I have no idea, but this is a good life lesson. Spontaneity is the spice of life and <laughs> you and I love saying yes. So these guys reached out and said, do you wanna come spend the night with us, do some activities, maybe mountain biking? I honestly have no idea. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to find out what it is. Let's go. arrived it is not what we had anticipated because we thought we'd be in the middle of nowhere this is in the middle of the town La Ventana so only a few spills on my drive I think I did pretty all right which is very exciting because La Ventana is known for its kiteboarding now we drove past the ocean and it looks <laughs> calm so I don't think there's any wind but if we had any extra time tomorrow oh you know my buddy's gonna rent some cat gear Let's go, folks. Come on. Okay, so confirm, they definitely have bikes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they got nice Hi. bikes. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como están? Hola, amigo. Awesome. Eamon Beck. Yes. Yeah, dude. How are, are you? you? Rafa? Rafa left for a bike to him, Rodrigo. Oh, nice hey, to Rodrigo. You. Nice to meet you, brother. Dude, big fan. Like, one year and a half watching oh, this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, so sweet. Dude. We're so excited to be here. Oh, so the ranch is not here. The ranch we're, is here. We're going up. Oh, ah, okay. okay. <laughs> so we're going to head up to the first part. It's called uh, Gaspareño. Okay. okay. Uh, we could leave. We're going to leave the van over there. Okay. And we're going to take a truck. Did he not wave back? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many Sprinter vans in my, well not so many, but whenever we see a Sprinter van, I Not always even, you wave, wave to all van people, all... Yeah, all vans. Anyone living in a van, you can usually tell by the van, I wave. Every single time, I don't wave, it's like a yo, what up? Yeah. Like, and if he doesn't answer, I do it quick. <laughs> is where the cowboys and the ranchers uh, usually sleep and we'll see some horses and mules that we have here in our uh, corral. So this part in, in Chivato and many sections of the ranch, we don't have electricity or like running water, so we're completely off grid. Just like our house. Yeah, but like in a different scale. <laughs> <laughs> but the principle Look at the size like, of their fridge. Yeah. And yeah. freezers then. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. And we have our composting toilets. Take the wood chips and put them after each time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it keeps the smell down. Gotcha. Like, because I'm getting a nature's head toilet. 
Is this almost like a uh, like pepino, a cucumber? Oh yeah. But a flower? Yeah. Fresh chilies here. Which one do you think would be spicier? I think the drier one. <laughs> <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm the whole cheers. Salud. Mm, it's not very hot. Oh really? Yeah, maybe after summer. You're definitely hot. Oh. <laughs> really? Well, they have some bite. For Eamon. You don't taste anything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pretend at least a little bit, a little bit. But what about this? Is this edible or no? Uh, a little bit bigger. Keep Cheers. going. Mm. Oh. Is it yum? Oh, it tastes like candy. Oh my God. Isn't that good? Rodrigo, try this tomato. <laughs> All this good stuff Dude, that juice mm. is crazy. Hello, are you hungry? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. gonna grab her first carrot. I'm a farmer now, everybody. <laughs> we have the pleasure of picking some of this beautiful fresh produce for our salads for lunch. So we are, well, we're excited, huh, babe? Dude, look at this kale. <laughs> We have picked all of our fresh produce. Now it's all organic, so technically you could just eat it. Might have a little dirt on it. It's not a big deal. But here at the ranch, we're gonna. That tastes a little weird. <laughs> we're gonna wash everything thoroughly. So this is like their washing station, and we're just gonna go through and give it all a rinse, clean it up. Just when you guys thought that was a lot of fresh produce, we're headed to the second garden. Dos hermanos! Uh, hold on, we've just realized that we're actually leaving the van for the evening, you guys. We're being treated to a night's accommodation here. So we need to pack up our stuff, I Everything. guess. Everything. Like, what do we bring? Everything. Shoes. Shoes, food. running shoes. They said they have Pick food these. for us, but maybe we should bring Plus some bars. like supplemental stuff. Just Water. Oh, Computer? Relax. <laughs> I never left my van before. Okay. Oh, I think I just locked back in. Sorry, back. No problem, babe. Hola. Hola. Como estas? Muy bien. Who are you? We love little pickles. Yes, Pequeno Battle. Rodrigo, we'll see you later. We're gonna play with the dog. <laughs> Bye. So they've got a really nice kitchen space here. We're gonna prep some of the veg and make a beautiful salad. I think they're doing out some rice as well. Part of what they do is they also have a, that full mountain biking service. So we've just met up with a mountain biking group and we're gonna sit down for some lunch. They've got some rice and veg and we're gonna crack into this beautiful salad. Oh, so good. The best. El Nino. Mucho calor. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Adios. Muchas okay. gracias. The adventure continues. We are going to make our way to some ruins. 100 year old ruins. We're going to check those out. And then we're going to go swimming. Not in that, hopefully. <laughs> I told our vlog about my beautiful toilet experience. No. So they use dry toilets here. And it's fully compostable. So I thought, oh, maybe it'll be like, you know, so so the toilet situation. Beautiful views. Breeze coming in. We're gonna overlay in. some B roll while we're doing this. Yeah, it feels like you're just like outside enjoying nature. It's awesome. Loved it. All of these ruins that we're checking out are from the 1800s and are part of the mining processing plants. This is where they used to keep all of their water. And we were all just joking, like in a couple of centuries from now, they're gonna look back on our iPhones and say, Mom, look how primitive they were. I can't believe they got anything done with these iPhones. They only had FaceTime, Mom. 
No teleportation service? Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. That was one bumpy ride. <laughs> We've made it to our accommodation. Whew. How you feeling? Good. How Good. are you feeling? Egg salad. Oh, I just ripped the door jam off. That's nice. Yeah, we're not very tall. <laughs> <laughs> I just smoked my head on that. <laughs> wow, cute little kitchen. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all your cups, plates, booze. This is where we're gonna stay. Wow! <gasps> Thank you! Oh! I love it! It's so cottagey! I love it! <sighs> oh man, I have to admit, I am exhausted. It's been a long day. I think we're just gonna hang out, maybe go to the pool, maybe not. I like this place. Maybe we'll catch you at dinner. As I'm sure you can hear in the background behind me, the boys have their toys out. They're having a drone war at sunset, which is gonna be really beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that footage. Me, I gotta get this. We're vlogging on the heavy camera, so I gotta pull it out. I'm going to try a hot bucket shower. We were asking Rodrigo why they do that, and he thinks it's just to help conserve water. It's something that I've noticed with van life especially, is that having limited amount of resource of water, you're very, very, very conscious of how much you're using. I'm probably getting lost. Oh no, I see it. Oh, I think I can go this way, I was right. Um, yeah, so you're really conscious of how much water you're using. And now that I've lived in a van for two years, anytime I'm somewhere and someone's brushing their teeth and the tab's on, and all of those little tiny things that you think are kind of silly, in van life especially makes such a big difference and I think that's the point of the bucket shower is you're just conscious of how much water you're using. So this is gonna be a little shower area. I'm gonna fill up those buckets with some water make it a mixture. And uh, I think that's all she wrote. I have literally, I mean you guys saw me like this morning on the sand I've been sandy and salty for days now, and I have so much sand in my hair. So this is gonna feel extra, extra good. I'm gonna guess that this is hot. Rojo. This is hot, but this might take a while to fill. Did you see if this is cold? Let's try the other side. We'll call that lukewarm. <laughs> you have to be able to carry this bucket. <clears throat> okay, folks, here goes nothing. I'm gonna take this wee guy. Just go for it. Ah! Boy, definitely not warm. Aguas <sighs> no caliente. Um, of course, Eamon's gonna ask. I did not ask. My shower was just cold. He's no asking now for his. Shower. Are you crazy? Huh? No chance I'm having a cold shower. No, but it was still really refreshing. I loved it. And I was just making a point about how much water I've learned to conserve. And I had so much water left over from the bucket that I was just kind of like dousing it on myself and I still have some left over. You have a full bucket? Not a full bucket, but I still have some left over. Hola, senor. Agua frio. <laughs> si. I think Becca was telling you that I was gonna get a hot shower. That is not the case. They do have hot water here, but it wasn't working or it's not on or something. Anyway, it feels good now. The sun is setting. I think we're gonna start dinner. Got a beautiful zucchini pasta. Um, we're doing a homemade sauce. And everything is basically cooked from, or plucked by hand by us here in the, uh, the garden, which is super exciting. Mm -hmm. So if it tastes like beep, it's our fault. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> Everything tastes so much better. I know. Wow. Gracias por la panza. <laughs> Make our bellies nice and fat with this food. There's oil. Does that count? No. <laughs> okay, finito. 
The kitchen is clean. Watch your head getting out. Sorry, I thought we were doing this water. You should say you should change this sign here. Save water, drink Topo Chico. <laughs> I asked for agua and it gives me a topo. <laughs> Buddy, what happened to you? We were on a mission together. Yeah, and then all of a sudden I felt so cold like I had to be under the covers. What? Yeah, it's cold. Is that even a thing? It, it is right now. <laughs> that was cold. Well, geez Louise, buddy. Where's my pillow? Um, about that. <laughs> I telepathed you earlier when you went down to the van and you forgot to bring me up the pillow. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. All right, buddy. I guess I'll just use this one right here. Well, it's got some it. really pretty <laughs> jewels on it. There we go, buddy. There you go. All right. Sleep tight. <laughs> okay, amigos. This is the uh, nighttime situation. We're gonna put you down unless something extremely exciting happens, <laughs> uh, which is highly unlikely here in the ranch, unless like some coyotes come or something like that. I'll just be here with my crown jewels. My pillow, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Good night! Bye. Mr. Rodrigo, you're a true Hi. legend, buddy. Thanks, Thank you man. so much for everything. Oh, uh, it was such a pleasure. I feel such like we pleasure. were just hanging out with friends, you know? Yeah. It was so great. I'm glad you could visit and see what's the ranch where I work in. Mm -hmm. Like experience some of the stuff I, that I do and people that they do. Like they're gonna groom the horses right now. Yeah. Picking vegetables right now from the garden. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. So, glad that you can come here. Yeah, me too. Uh, I love our house! I missed it so much. Yeah. Like, it was a nice break and everything, but I have to be honest, I wish we had slept in the van. Me too. Oh. <gasps> I'm so easily scared. <laughs> yes? You'll have to, you also have to say for my video. Yeah. For the ranch video, like the good bites and stuff. Oh yeah, sure, you wanna do it again? Yeah. Vlog life, guys. Start walking, buddy. Is this what they call the walk of shame, my love? Yeah, the walk of learning. <laughs> You're having fun though, right? Love it.